right, lads, welcome back to It's All Eats. I've come all the way to Melbourne, lad, to check out your kebabs. They say come to Sydney Road, lad. We're in Coburg and Brunswick, and this is where all the kebab spots are, and you think you've got mad food. You think you're better than Sydney, better coffee, better this, that. We'll see. We'll see, lads. So we're starting here, Uncle Joe's. It's in Coburg. Then we're going to Hannah's in Coburg. Then El Kebabji. It's in Coburg as well. Then we're going down to Brunswick for the last one, Alassia Restaurant. That's it. Let's go. I'll be back. Stay there. Bro, we're around the corner from the little posse, lad. Listen, you gotta pay cash. I'm not gonna lie. I went there the first time and sussed and had to go to the bank first before I came back. I'm annoyed, cuz. You know when I gotta pay cash, lad? It's a bit biased from then on, but I'm ready to peg the food, but let's suss. The price though, $16.80 for a combo. Cheaper than Sydney already. What are you talking about? Lamb combo, everything on it, chili barbecue. That's what I got. The chips are nothing to write home about, cuz. Absolutely normal chips. Are they that great? They're all right. They're all right. Definitely need sauce. Not the type of chips like Sydney chips where they're just gonna gen you up, bro. <laughs> Not like Sydney chips where you don't need sauce. Nah, of course, brother. Let's see what this kebab's about, cuz. Lamb kebab or salads. Why does it look like a beef kebab? That's beef. I ordered a lamb kebab. I ordered a lamb kebab. It's a beef kebab. But anyway, let's not get, you know, distracted on, on the small things. I'm starving and I'm tired. So this is tasting good, right? But when I judge it realistically, it's the most average kebab I've had. It's just a full grown normal kebab. This isn't even my kebab. This isn't even my kebab. Is this my kebab? I was the only person at the store. It's completely empty. It's only me that went there. There's not another person in sight. I ordered a lamb kebab with chili and barbecue sauce. And I got a beef kebab with barbecue and garlic sauce. Even the chips, they taste like the oil. It hasn't been changed that recently. You can taste the oil. I don't know, cuz. It's the only one we've done, so it's leading, I guess. That's just a normal, that, if, if that was from Sydney, I'm not gonna lie. Look, I'm, I'm, gonna be, I'm not comparing everything to Sydney. It's not what this is about, okay? Let's just take it for what it is. It's just a bodgy kebab store, cuz. I'm not gonna lie. What else is there to say? We're going down the street to Hannah's in Coburg as well. Hannah's in Coburg, is that the next one? And then El Kebabji is an Iraqi one in Coburg as well. We're going to Hannah's next. Apparently this gun's got a five star rating, but let's go suss it out, let's cut. All right, here we are down the street from Hannah's. It's just up there, baba. Let's go. Man, we're doing full midnight kebab runs. You know how late it is? I've never done it until it's this late. Right, let's go. Hey, when I was going on, they made me a little seat, you know? Very Spanian-esque. Down here in Coburg, in Melbourne. Yeah, I'm expecting this to taste really good, all right? Because of when I was watching, even how they're doing the chips, because it's full of water. I was just sort of watching the whole process, right? I got a Coke Zero, cuz it's nearly midnight, cuz. I'm gonna, I need coffee or something, cuz. Even how they're doing the chips, we'll see. They're seasoned hectic. They had this metal bowl they put them in, and I'll pour it in. Bro, this juice coming out of the seat, cuz. Let's suss out what's going on with this kebab. With the kebab, bro, the bread was different. The bread was different. Look. Look, look. Cuz, they had this piece of bread, cuz it was that big. And he was folding it and frying it. And then after he put the meat in, I seen him walking up to the flame grill and he's pressing it on it. Thinking this bro is a work of art, cuz, this, this kebab. Anyway. Lamb kebab, chili, this and that. I'm expecting big things from this. It even smells seed. It smells like a barbecue. Oh! Bro, that's lovely. Bro. What a kebab. Bro, I can't even explain. That's all quality, lad. 
Wow, that bread is hectic. You know what it's like? You know what's that Indian bread? Not the fat one, the thin Indian bread, cuz. It's sort of like that. Like a roti? Mmm, like roti bread. Like that, cuz. This kebab is close to perfect, cuz. No wonder they got five, five stars, lad. Oh my god. Pickles on there, onion, the meat, the sauce, cuz. I don't know what they're putting in this. This is close to one of the best kebabs I've ever had. Bro, this is gun. The lamb. This is this is one of the best kebabs I've ever had in my life. That is so good, bro. That is so good. Even the care cuz I was watching. There's a woman there, probably Hannah. There's an old boy. He's making the kebabs and the, just the care cuz I was watching him, the process. He was going through making this kebab. In my head, I'm thinking, this is gonna be a mad kebab, cuz. I don't know if I can eat anymore. I've got another two kebab places to go. You know what? I'm not used to doing kebab reviews, <laughs> food reviews this late at night. <laughs> I feel like I'm supposed to be going to sleep. And when I think, all right, I've got two more places to go, I'm thinking, bruh, that is one of the best kebabs I've ever had in my life. Forget asking who's from that last place, but what happened there? So this place down the street, Anna's at Cobra, well, no more needs to be said. Where are we off to next? If somewhere beats this, brother, I'm shocked. Where are we off to next? El Kebabji, it's like an Iraqi one. It's down the street in Cobra too. Let's go, bro. All right, listen, it's starting to rain, bro. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do the kebab review in the back of the car. El Kebabji, is in, it's in this servo. It's a little truck in this servo here. I'm gonna go get it. Apparently, this is like Iraqi style kebabs. I'll get it, I'll pop back around, jump in there, do the food review in there. It is, imagine this beats Hannah. I don't know how this is gonna happen, lad, but I'm very satisfied at this moment. Bro, you know what I'm gonna say straight off the bat before I even eat this food? You know what I'm gonna say about Melbourne? Cuz there's such an interest in food. Like, we're going along this one street, cuz. Imagine this, cuz. It doesn't exist in Sydney. You're going along a street, and it's like on the side of the road, wherever there's space, say it's like an, it used to be an old servo or an old mechanic or something, and it's just, it's like just gets turned into this place of food. Like, just in there, see when I went to Hannah's before? Hannah's was like a truck, and next to it was a truck and it had dessert. And next to it was a truck that had coffee at midnight. And next to it was a dessert truck in just an empty lot. We drove up the street here, three minutes, to another empty lot. It's not a servo. There's a drive through coffee place. There's girls there behind this truck dipping all fruits in candy and making desserts. There's an Iraqi kebab block. Like, just on the sides of the roads, there's just high quality food getting sold out of like little makeshift shops. We don't have that shit in Sydney. Like, it's sort of just popping up like food trucks. And like, you'll go to one spot and there'll be one truck and it's like the thing, but here it's just like normal. Because I, I was sitting there, I was looking, I was like, what is this? I wish this shit was near me where I live, you know what I mean? Anyway, let's get to the point. I forgot to say Hannah's was 20, exactly. So was this. I didn't give you the price for Hannah's. Cause this looked good too. It's like a truck and it's just in an empty lot, but it's all quality. And then, I don't know, cuz it's it's like it's like food is like a, a priority in Melbourne or something. Oh what? Completely different. This tastes like it's from a different part of the world. It's that different to a kebab. Iraqi style kebab. The meat is very, very flavored. You can see it. It almost tastes like curried meat. It's that flavored. This tastes like, I know it's Iraqi, but it tastes like, like Pakistani food. But you know what? It makes sense. Brother, on this one street, Sydney Road, I swear to God, there's like 600 kebab stores and another 800 food things that are open here in the middle of the night. So you think they got to all taste different? Imagine they're all the same. Imagine you go by and they're all just standard kebab stores and they're like, bro, think, think of something different. That's mad. That's a mad kebab. Good quality lamb. Look at the lamb. It's like good, mad quality lamb. It's not even like kebab lamb. It's like shawarma. It is. I think it is shawarma. It's hectic. That's mad. Is it better? 
then Hanan's is not. It's too hectic for her. It's hectic. Let me try the chips. All right, they're clean. They're very clean, very fresh. The oil was the oil was new. You can, you can smell. When you taste it, you smell it. You can see the color of it too. They're not like going like orangey brown. And you know what? Like now I'm thinking in my head, and I'm starting to understand what people say. Like when when they say, "Oh, the food in Melbourne," they people in the food in Melbourne, the food in Melbourne. It's like in Sydney when you go to a kebab store, there's just one style of kebab. When when I done best kebab in Sydney, it's all just the same kebab, but it's made in like some are a bit better quality than others. I've had three kebabs now, all on the same street, and it tastes like three kebabs from different sides of the world. The first one was like a Sydney kebab. The second one was one of the best kebabs I've ever had, if not the best. And this one is like a kebab that I've never tasted before from a different side of the world. They're all from a different side of the world, but you get what I'm trying to say, right? But Hannes is winning, 100% right now Hannes is winning. Um, this is coming second, Bodji Kebab Store is coming last. Where are we off to La? I forgot how to pronounce it. Alassia Restaurant. This one's down in Brunswick. This is the first one out of Coburg. Let's cut. All right, lads. Ilche. We're in Brunzo, lad. Brunswick. Brunza. Oh, Bruns. Brunzalicious, lad. However you say it. Anyway, we're in Brunswick. Alassia Restaurant's across the road. We just drove past. We parked here. I looked in, it looked like an old, authentic Arabic restaurant. Like a full different vibe again. We'll see, the kebabs may be standard, we'll see. You can wait here, look, there's a chair right there, I'll be back. Cuz, my mind is blown. I haven't even looked at the food yet, but that place is like, it's like being in an old school, Arab restaurant from like the 80s. But that place, bruh, it's like midnight. You walk in, there's all baked stuff. There's a big oven at the back just pumping out pizzas or manushes. There's, there's sweets getting made. It's like, what, what, what's going on here? Like, bruh, and everything is just so, they didn't even have hot chips. I got lamb kebab and I got baklavas instead. It's like fresh made baklavas. I could see like an old lady standing there making them. It's like, bro, what's going on? How do you have this type of food all the time, everywhere? Like this, oh, I can't even get, anyway, let's do this review. Cuz I'm hating the food in Sydney. I'm hating the food in Sydney right now, cuz. Like if, if I just live near just that restaurant, just that, if that was the only thing near where I live, I would be set. I just don't understand, I just don't understand. What's wrong with us in Sydney, cuz? Why do we have such shit food? Why? I, I don't understand that. How can this bodgy street, look at this bodgy area, cuz. Look how bodgy it is. And how can they have so much good food? Everywhere I've gone, I just don't understand that. Everywhere I've gone, I've been in Melbourne for one day and everything is just really thought through, well tasting, well presented food. But we, oh, I can't even understand it, cuz. I don't even know what's gonna happen when I open this kebab, cuz. It's probably like a whole new kebab again. It's made on a, it's a whole new kebab again, cuz. It's made on a bread roll. Look at this thing. I knew it. Every kebab store you go to here, it's a whole different experience. Bro, what is this? Bro, wow. It's like eating, look. Look at this. Is that even a kebab? Would we even call that a kebab in Sydney? This is, this is like some big lamb roll. There's so much meat on it, bro. Look how much meat is on it. It's the fourth kebab shop I went to. Four completely different looking, tasting kebabs. Completely different. All of them are gone except the first place. Gone. I'm not even hungry no more. It's off his head. Where do I put that? I want to put that second. Hannah's that kebab is legitimately the best kebab I've ever had in my life. That's first. This is second. It's just like, there's so much meat on it. It's on like a Turkish roll. The garlic's different. It's got that seasoning on the, you know, like they put it on, I don't even know what to call that seasoning. But anyway, let me get to the point. And that third is um, the Iraqi one. 
the last is the Bodgy one that we started with. What's it called? Uncle. Yeah, Uncle Joe. Joe. What happened there, Uncle Joe? Hmm. Like this, I don't know, cuz, I don't know how to summarize this, but straight out, Melbourne kebabs shit on Sydney kebabs. Straight out, cuz, I gotta say it. Like, you see Uncle Joe's kebabs? That's a Sydney kebab. Like, that's all you get in Sydney. That's all it is. There's no, you get different kebabs that taste different. It's, they're all the same and they all taste like Master Foods barbecue or chili sauce. That's the, that is Sydney kebabs. And it don't matter, you can go to a full Arab area like Auburn, it's shit. They're all, sh they're, they're all shit and they all taste the same. It's nothing compared to this. And it makes me think, they did, we're just testing kebabs. Imagine everything else here. Imagine everything else. Imagine Italian here. I imagine Greek here compared to what I don't know, cuz. Anyway, the winner by far is Hannah's. Wow, what a kebab, cuz. But anyway, the winner is Melbourne by far. I gotta got say it, cuz. Melbourne wins by far. But, but let's cut, let's go.